Picture this. You are in space. It is exciting and fun. But wait for it. Soon your head swells, your heart shrinks, your legs atrophy, your DNA changes, and you get the space stupids, basically brain fog. Doesn't sound all that fun now, does it? And it gets worse. A new study is out. It says that space even makes you go blind. You see, the human body did not evolve to live in space. It is an alien environment for us, so it changes our bodies. And this could spell trouble for future missions, like missions to Mars, which will be longer and deeper into space. So is there a way out? Is it safe for humans to go to Mars? And why does outer space change the human body? Our next report tells you. Humans are increasingly exploring worlds beyond Earth, and they are setting their eyes on Mars. These will be longer missions, millions of kilometers away from home, with delayed communications, a lack of gravity, and exposure to radiation. So, before they go, scientists are trying to understand as much as possible about what this would do to their bodies. A new study is out. It says that 70% of astronauts who spent at least six months on the International Space Station experience major changes in their vision. But this is not news. In fact, two decades ago, when astronaut John Phillips went to the ISS, he was launched with a 2020 vision. He was on the space station for about six months, but when he returned, his vision was down to 2100. Not everyone experiences such a severe change, but almost everyone witnesses a version of this condition. A typical human body is about 60% water. On Earth, gravity pulls the fluids down into the body but space is zero gravity. So, in the freefall, the body's fluids float upwards. About two liters of fluids gather in the head, applying pressure on the eyeballs and squishing them over time. This can swell the optic nerve, flatten the back of the eye, cause blurry vision, and a range of other eye problems. Vision issues are considered one of the riskiest medical problems affecting astronauts. But these aren't the only problems. Even though weight means very little in zero gravity, astronauts find it difficult to maintain it in space. And without the constant tug of gravity, muscle and bone mass begin to diminish, especially because they are not used enough. We are seeing this with NASA astronaut Sunita Williams, who has been stuck in space for about eight months now. She claims to have forgotten how to walk. That's because muscles no longer have to put in the work that they usually do. So, they begin to atrophy. After just two weeks, muscle mass falls by 20%. And bones lose about 2% of their mass with every month spent in space. This increases the risk of injuries and fractures. While these problems can be easily seen, there are changes inside the body as well. Like in the gut. Our guts have friendly bacteria and fungi that help the digestion process. Being in space increases inflammation in the body and alters the gut biome. Even the human genes are affected because radiation in space can damage DNA. And apart from the body, the mind is also at risk. Space can do strange things to it, from feelings of disorientation to mood swings to warped thinking. These are often called space stupids. So, there are mind-bending consequences to staying in space. Scientists fear that it could put future missions in jeopardy. As countries are planning to send crews deeper into the solar systems, they have to be careful about the seen and unseen problems that may come with it. For instance, a return journey to Mars is expected to take 1,100 days. The record for a single trip into space currently stands at 437 days. So a trip to Mars is more than double of that. So scientists are scrambling to design procedures and devices that will keep astronauts safe and healthy in deep space. There's a lot of work to be done, but hopefully the result will be out of this world. We're calling the show Vantage. We hope you like what we've put together for you. Routed as the minimum. Think of that video. India's neighbors were the first to send.
the special edition of Vantage live from the White House throughout the city. Yes, Hindu Mandir in Puranavi to Tel Aviv. Pretty measure, but it's also the perfect way to drive. I don't think the Prime Minister of Bhutan sharing Thakbe. Well, welcome to 60% of the world's office. Prime Minister Modi did the iron. We were actually very. What are you doing? How do you like it? It's been one year since that meeting. Iron bars separate you from the outside. Out the vote effort. It's Trump hat, it says, and at $4.3 trillion. 4.3 300 billion by 2030. That's what we need to tackle climate change.